Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing Itzy's newest comeback sneakers. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and as always, thanks for watching. So before I actually get into the review, I want to touch on my own thoughts leading up to this comeback because this comeback has been very interesting. So before the shift, I was not interested. So when the first promotional teaser dropped, I really thought it looked cheap and underwhelming. I was actually really surprised because usually Itzy has these like well thought out concepts with really good themes and this one just screamed cheap in my opinion. So I was really confused at first, um, but yeah, I just really thought it was just kind of boring. There was nothing really there that captivated me and my interest for it was just pretty non-existing at that point. But then the shift happened. I actually don't mind the shift, mainly because I really like the concept itself. I think the sneaker concept fits Itzy and their image a lot more. And just overall, I just find it more interesting. So that's pretty much my thoughts regarding the whole comeback. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought down below because I'm actually really interested in what you have to say. I know there's been a lot of people making conspiracy theories and all kinds of stuff that i personally don't understand but you know what it's okay but yeah just let me know because yeah i would love to chat about it after hearing the spoiler i kind of already knew this song just wasn't going to be for me. And now hearing the full version, I've come to the conclusion that this song is by far the worst we have seen from Itzy. Its childish nature really takes me out of the experience as it's really distracting and doesn't feel very serious, almost as if it's making fun of its own self. And although we've seen Itzy do experimental music, this felt overdone and it failed in its execution. Also, I like to note that the creative direction left me a bit confused as it came off messy with no real idea of where it was going. As time and time goes on, we've seen Itzy fade away into this endless cycle of mediocre and bad music, which concerns me. Not only because Itzy is a very influential group, fans will eat up pretty much anything that is thrown at them, regardless if the song is good or not. Maybe this is insensitive, but I don't think this song deserves praise for just being an Itzy song, especially when it's objectively bad, but that's just my opinion. Overall, I would be lying if I said I didn't expect this, because unfortunately I did, but it still saddens me regardless. Breaking records on I'm a race Although I would say Racer is on the weaker side, it definitely holds its stance as a decent B-side. And despite the fact that personally it's not my favorite, I can see the appeal it will garner with fans and over time. If anything, I can see this being more popular for its upbeat girl crush atmosphere over the title track just like we've seen with Money from Lisa. All in all, Racer definitely shines on its own and I think a lot of people will slowly love it. Interesting enough, from the album spoiler or highlight medley, I was convinced I would like this song the most. But after listening to it numerous times, I found it very repetitive and it started to become difficult to stomach. The constant repeat, what I want, throughout the song is very jarring and it makes me think that this song really is just filler for the album. Although I appreciate the vocal tones and instrumentals, I can't take this song any more than three listens at once. Moreover, this song would have been better if the production wasn't rushed and if the thought behind it was more cared for. We Out of all Itzy B-sides, I find Freefall the most captivating. The playful characteristics definitely make it enjoyable, and I can see myself blasting this song as I go on a back road drive. It's something I've been wanting to see from Itzy, and I'm pleased they finally delivered it. Overall, this song is a delicious summer treat. <laughs> Like, 
Just like Racer, I can see this song being another fan favorite. Its overall musical direction definitely speaks loud, and I think many fans will be pleased and happy with it. For me, at least, I found this song slightly more enjoyable than Racer, simply because of the noticeable texture throughout the song. Basically, the more I listened, the more the experience got better. Unfortunately for me, this song fell pretty flat. Although I appreciate the vocals, I'm just not really interested. After listening to it many times, I found myself dozing off or even talking over the song as if it wasn't even playing. Over time, I just became really bored of it, so in the end, I just turned it off completely. In conclusion, this album was mostly a miss with a few exceptions. As expected, I didn't really have high hopes for this album, especially the title track, and unfortunately, I was right. Hopefully, Itzy's next album will be more exciting and actually good, but at this point, I feel like that's just wishful thinking. But regardless of my opinion, I still appreciate the efforts that took to make this album, and I wish Itzy well. Well, that was it for this Itzy review. I hope you all enjoyed, and please let me know your thoughts and opinions. I would love to chat. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. It always means so much, so thank you. Like, really, thank you so much. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed, and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Toodles! Oh, dude, he's flirting. Yeah! My baby says she wanna dance with the girls, she wants to leave me, yeah. My baby says she wanna dance with the girls, she wants to.